Hey everybody, this is Dante Fortson, AKA the Indoor Survivalist. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about uh, survival weapons. A lot of people ask, what weapons should you get um, to start working on survival? And so I've been working on that for a while. And I do have a few weapons to show you today. Uh, the first one is my personal carry weapon. Uh, this is a kel 9mm, it's the kel PF9. Um, I bought it at a gun show a couple of weeks ago. Do a safety check real quick. Everybody's big on those. Um, it's actually kind of hard to All right, do it from that angle without hitting the camera. Um, chamber's clear. Uh, I probably can't see because it's black on the table. But yeah, basically, kel PF9, um, 9mm uh, handgun. Uh, it's a pretty decent size. It's, it's compact. It's not huge and it's not too small. Um, it fits my hand nicely. Comes with a uh, seven round mag. Um, this is an optional foot you can put on the bottom so you can hold it a little bit better in your hand if you have bigger hands. Uh, but it is a full size nine millimeter. And yeah, you get the nine millimeter load but you get a little bit um, of compactness going on there. It's easy to conceal. And that's my personal uh, carry weapon. I keep an extra mag. And this actually shoots, I'll leave it here for a second um, and talk about uh, the bullet. It shoots 9mm. This is a ballpoint, not sure if you can tell, uh, but that's a ballpoint 9mm shell. It also shoots hollow points. I don't have any hollow points yet. I forgot to get them. I was just at the gun store uh, on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, basically the difference between the ballpoint and the hollow point, if you don't know, the ballpoint has a tendency to over penetrate, which means if you shoot someone in self-defense, um, it may go through the person and into somebody else or into something else. Uh, hollow points smash upon impact and it keeps from over penetration. So as much as possible, you want to um, stick with the hollow points. I was actually at the range shooting and so I don't buy hollow points for range and forgot to grab them on the way out the store. But yeah, this is the nine millimeter personal carry weapon. Everybody should have at least one handgun. This one here ran about 3.30 at the um, gun show, uh, I think last, last month, uh, let's see, August. It was an August gun show here in Vegas. It ran about 3.30. I've seen them in the store as high as $450. So shop around, uh, the prices will vary. All right, the next gun I have to show you is the Mossberg 500 12 gauge shotgun. This is an older shotgun. Um, let me see if it's in the frame. Okay, yeah, this is a, a little bit older shotgun. Has some nicks and abuse. Um, actually have gone rabbit hunting with this gun. Um, it's really reliable and the Mossberg 500 is a really popular gun. Has lots of customizable features. Uh, you can um, add the different pump actions on there. Pistol grip. Um, Got to turn my ringer off on my phone. Let me turn that off real quick. All right, you can tell I don't do these videos uh, professionally, uh, but yeah. <laughs> so you have the different accessories you can add on to here. Uh, you can add a pistol grip here. You can add a, a, a front hand grip here. Uh, you can add tactical rails, different muzzle brakes, and everything else. This shoots a 12 gauge shell. Uh, 12 gauge ammo is not that expensive. I believe I just bought. It was either 25 or 50 rounds for seven bucks at Walmart. This is a bird and quail shot. Um, this right here is number eight shot. You can use it on bird, quail, small game, that sort of thing. And it's basically a lot of pellets to shoot out. So imagine this shell stuffed with BBs. When you shoot it, they fly everywhere. Uh, the closer you are, the closer the pattern is, the farther away you are, the, the bigger the spread you get. Um, you can also find slugs and um, bigger uh, buckshot. But basically, this is going to be a home defense, or you can hunt rabbits and squirrel. And I've heard of people taking down large game, but you need different kind of shot for that. Uh, so yeah, this is a home defense slash hunting gun. And again, 12 gauge shotgun, Mossberg 500. I believe I paid three hundred dollars for this one at the gun store. Um, it was a while back. It's been a few years, so that's something to keep in mind and again you can customize this thing with rails and make it tactical and all kind of stuff i'm working on that now i was trying to knock some of the other stuff out of the way first before i got to that all right and finally um everybody suggests having at least three guns we went through the handgun went through the shotgun and finally for the rifle i chose um the mossberg Let's see if i can get that to sit up straight 
Alright, I chose the Mossberg um, Tactical 22. Uh, let's see if we can keep that. Okay, it won't fall. Alright, the Mossberg Tactical 22. Um, it has, this one doesn't have the adjustable stock. For whatever reason, I wasn't paying attention when I ordered, and I ordered the fixed stock. But even if you get the fixed stock, it comes with a pin you can pop out. You can throw another AR adjustable stock on there. And basically, this Tactical 22 looks like an AR-15. It only cost about 300 bucks. Um, I paid about 350 after transfer, tax, background check, the whole nine. Um, you can add a bunch of different stuff on there. It comes with the Weaver Picatinny rails. Um, I added a laser onto the front. So far, I just got this gun Saturday. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to really go out and really put it through the paces yet. Uh, pressure switch for the laser. 25 round mag. Um, and again, optional, the adjustable stock, you can't see the full thing here, but this one's not adjustable, but you can get them adjustable. Um, I have a scope for it, I just don't have the uh, rings yet. But yeah, these are my guns, and the reason uh, that I picked the 22 versus a um, full-size AR-15 is because the 22 is pretty versatile. Um, they are, AR-15 can be used to take down big game. Uh, it's not so good for taking down small game, per se. Um... I think the I, you can you can take down small game if you can hit it, um, but I think this is a little bit more versatile uh, because you can get several different types of rounds for this. Uh, let me talk about this one. Ballpoint. I discussed ballpoint ammo with the um, nine millimeter and the basic ballpoint. Um, with a 22, it can over penetrate, but at the same time, 22 from what I'm told will hit bone and ricochet. And so what that does is it bounces around inside of a person or an animal or whatever, you know, depending on if you're using it for defense or hunting. Um, it's a very lethal round up to 400 yards at least. Um, a 22 can be lethal. Um, next is the hollow point. I'm not sure if you can see that, um, but yeah, 22 hollows. Uh, you can use these for hunting rounds or whatever, personal defense. And again, it's a pretty versatile gun. And finally, um, you can get the birdshot rounds. This has a blue cap. It's full of uh, birdshot for hunting small game, birds, uh, rabbits, squirrels, or whatever. And so you can load those three different types of ammo into this weapon and use it uh, for different purposes, whether it be defense or whether it be hunting uh, big game or small game. And again, uh, people, a lot of people uh, don't necessarily dislike the 22. Uh, but they dislike it for personal defense. Um, but I, I disagree. I've been a fan of 22s for a very long time. I may end up getting something in a higher caliber. I'm still wrestling with the idea of grabbing a, a full-size AR. And then um, in a situation, if we needed to uh, bug out or anything else, letting my wife take this one and I would take the full-size AR. Uh, but for right now, these are the three guns that I have uh, for a survival situation. So... Let me know what guns you have. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Leave your suggestion. As always, go to IndoorSurvivalist.com. You can subscribe. I've actually migrated the site over to my personal website. Um, so those two are sharing one big website now. Uh, but again, IndoorSurvivalist.com. Make sure you subscribe and leave your comments.